So now in this video, I thought we would review the 1000 ohm resistor right there. There's the color code if it's blue, one of these blue ones right there. There's also beige ones, and I thought I had a resistor a little easier to grab. But in any case, this is not a 1000 ohm. I think this is 10,000 ohm. But in any case, this is the size of a quarter watt. You can see how small that is uh, right there. And um, these small ones, they get hot uh, pretty easy right there. They don't dissipate heat uh, very well. The more surface area you got, the uh, better it's going to dissipate heat. So higher wattage resistors tend to be larger. Uh, one this size, I bet, would be like uh, 3 watts. Um, but uh, any case, uh, quarter watt is 0.25 watts, a fraction of a watt. You should still stay uh, below half of that, so below 0.125 watts. So you can see I got a number that's slightly below 0.125 watts. And um, so... We'll come back to this. Any case, 1000 ohm uh, resistor, any resistor actually, uh, the current that's flowing through it is the voltage across it. It's uh, Ohm's law formula for current. I stands for current, um, probably because C is capacitance. Um, but in any case, I equals uh, voltage divided by resistance. So if you got one volt divided by 1000 ohms, math is pretty easy right here, you're going to have about 0 0.001 amps of current flowing through there. We don't usually refer to uh, current um, that's less than one amp as point something amps. Usually we refer to it as milliamps. So that means one one thousandth of an amp right there, basically. If it's uh, 0 0.002 amps, which we would get with two volts right there, it's two milliamps and so on. Um, so pretty straightforward. Uh, if it's a thousand ohms, uh, whatever the voltage is, it's going to be one one thousandth that much when it comes to the amount of current flowing through it, although one volt will get you one milliamp. So we uh, have that. Uh, together though, they make the wattage, how much heat is going to be produced. So you can see one volt, one milliamp of current, one milliwatt or 0 0.001 uh, watt. Very straightforward. Uh, the heat though builds up quickly as you get more voltage across it and thus more current because you got more voltage and more current you multiply them together so now we have four times the power if we double the voltage because the current was also doubled and then you multiply them so hopefully that makes sense three volts three milliamps of current you can have nine milliwatts of current so this is still not all that hot but of course it's rising quickly as the voltage goes up so once we get to 11 volts we're going to have about 11 milliamps of current uh, flowing and about 121 uh, milliwatts when we want to stay below 125 milliwatts of current. Although, even though I was saying like milliamps and stuff, you still do uh, Ohm's law uh, calculations in voltage, in volts I should say, amps, and uh, full watts. So now if you watch my videos or uh, are going to watch them in the future after watching this one, you're going to see that I use 1,000 ohm resistors and all kinds of 12-volt uh, uh, circuits. That's higher than this. That's because if you have any other components in series with the resistor, if you have other resistors in series, they're going to take some of that voltage. So you're going to get less current than this lone resistor because you got another resistor. Their resistances add up when it comes to how much current is uh, flowing through them. Uh, but uh, the voltage across each resistor is going to get divided de depending on how much resistance it has. So the 1000 ohm resistor is only going to get a fraction of the voltage. But that's not usually what you're going to see me doing. Usually uh, we have an LED in series. So like a blue LED right here is going to drop about 3 volts. So if we have 12 volts uh, total, there's only going to be about 9 volts across the 1000 ohm resistor. Uh, which is lower than the 11 right here. So the resistor is going to get less hot in that particular circuit if we're using 12 volts instead of 5. Um, with the uh, blue LED, drops about 3 volts. If you got 5 volts, that leaves about 2 volts across the 1000 ohm resistor. So now I think I uh, covered everything. This isn't all that exciting or anything. I didn't show a demonstration because this is uh, really math based, uh, this stuff. But it's important that you do this math if you're ever uncertain about a circuit. Um, it's important you know the voltage across the resistors, uh, how much current they're going to let through for whatever reason, and also how hot they're going to get because you don't want it to overheat. That's the main thing. 
Uh, so if you're ever unsure, make sure you do the math. Um, so it doesn't sound exciting at first, but once you get some experience doing electronics, you'll realize how important it is. So in any case, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.